think that the Ukrainians are very much ready for this. They'll be very distinctive because they will be using, employing Western tanks, Western infantry fighting vehicles in large measure for the first time in this war, certainly in this number. I think the Russians will prove to be more brittle than the expectation is. Keep in mind, these units have been in combat for over a year, many of them. They have not been pulled offline to reconstitute by being having forces replaced, equipment replaced and repaired, and then doing training before they go back. They just get individual replacements to fill the gap. They're not well-trained. They're not well-equipped. They're not well-led. And I think that these Ukrainian forces, which are well-trained, are well-equipped, are going to break through. And then you might see a real dynamism to the battlefield that could give real opportunities to the Ukrainians to exploit. Well, now we know why we lost the war in Iraq and we lost the war in Afghanistan, because everything that uh, David Petraeus just said was wrong. Everything. Not one thing he said was right. The Ukrainians are not well-trained. They're not well-led. You can't be well-led when you have 28-year-old, 25 and 28-year-old battalion commanders with less than one year of military experience. That's not well-led. You're not well trained when you fall in on equipment for the first time in January, you begin training on it in February, and you're done by May. That's not well trained on anything, either the operation of the equipment, this masterful U.S.-made infantry fighting vehicle, the Bradley or the Leopard tank, or any of the Western-made artillery systems. Meanwhile, the Russians, everything he said about the Russians is wrong. These troops have high morale, extraordinary levels of training. We're seeing it right now as they absorb the Ukrainian attacks as they respond, a counterattack locally. The Ukrainians haven't come close to the first line of defense yet. 